What's up everybody? Robin Phillips here and welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing a mid-year market update. Why? Because between YouTube, TikTok, television news, there's a lot of misinformation out there. So we are going to do both a national overlook with statistics as well as looking at our local market right here in Charleston. All right, so let's look at the national market first. So people ask me all the time, Robin, when is the crash coming? Well, a price crash is only coming if two things happen. Either one, buyer demand drives up, and we'll talk about that, or two, people don't have enough equity in their home, so they cannot move or have to go into foreclosure or short sales. So let's look at home equity percentages. This graph shows us that 39% of people that own their home today own it outright. They owe nothing on their home. Another 29% owe less than 50% of their market value of their home. So is there a crash coming because people don't have enough equity in their home? Well, guys, 68% of the market is looking fine and dandy. So I would say, not likely. So the next thing we want to talk about is buyer demand. So everything in life is basic economics, right? What you learned in school, supply and demand. And how can we measure supply and demand with statistics in the real estate market? So the next slide I want to show you is the days on market. This is a national number. As of April 2023, we had 22 days on market. That's the number of days it takes to get a home under contract. So a neutral market, meaning not a buyer's market, not a seller's market, is six months of sale time. 30 days times six months, that's 180 days. So if it takes 180 days to sell your home, that would mean we're in a very neutral market. But guess what? Anything less than 180 days to sell your home. We're in a seller's market. So when I look at this and I see 22 days on market, I can tell you we're in an extremely strong seller's market. That means we have both low supply and strong buyer demand. Okay, another measure of buyer demand is months of inventory. So bear with me, I'm gonna geek out on the numbers and the graphs and all this just a little bit. So hang in, I'll be quick. So months of inventory defined is you have all of these homes on the market. So let's pretend there are no new homes coming in, right? Just we had this ball of, of homes and nothing's being listed, right? But they're being sold. So, and they're being sold at this rate of sales that is continuous. So the question is how long, how many months does it take to get rid of all of the homes? So there's not zero. Okay, right now, as of, well, not now, but as of April, 2023 of this graph, that is 2.9 months, okay? And we said the magic number is six. A neutral market is six months of inventory. So if we have 2.9 months, we're in a strong seller's market. That means we both have low supply and we have high buyer demand. So let's go back to the question. Is there going to be a market crash? So I have a hard time agreeing that there is going to be a national market crash when we have 22 days that it takes to get a house under contract on average. We have 2.9 months of inventory on the market on average and a neutral market is six months. And guys, these are hard numbers. These are facts. This is not a guess. So we've talked about what's happening right now. Let's talk about what's happening in the near future. So is buyer demand going to go up, down, or stay the same? We know the average age that people buy a home is around 34 years old. So let's pull up this chart. If we look at the number of people that are coming up on age 34, we can see that this block of millennials has the highest number of people in recent history that are about to come in to the home buying market. And not only are they coming into the home buying market because of their age, they have enough money to buy. So if you asked, is buyer demand going to go up, down, or stay the same, I would argue in all likelihood, it's gonna go up. And I think David H. Stevens 
Former president and CEO of the Mortgage Bankers Association said it best. He said, this nation is standing on the front doorstep of the largest wave of home buying demand in US history. Okay, if I haven't convinced you by now that buyer demand both is strong and will remain strong, I don't know what to do to help you. But call me, we'll get a drink, but you're buying. So my last video was about opportunities to take advantage of in the Charleston market. If you haven't watched it, go back and check it out. Right now, we're gonna talk about another opportunity. So Robert Frick just said, be prepared to jump on a dip in rates. What does that mean for you? Boy, it's gonna come quick. And it's those people that are paying attention to the real estate agent who are listening to the right advice that are gonna be jumping on it. Because if you wait for it to come out in television, in print, on TikTok, then you are gonna miss the very, very beginnings of this. And why is that important? Okay, so when rates first drop, those who are in the know are going to be able to take advantage of purchasing homes at a low rate without high multiple offer situations. Once the whole world knows about this, all that latent demand piles into the market, all those millennials come into the market, then we are gonna be right back to super, super low days on market, right? Where homes are just going like this, right? And we're in multiple offers. You wanna be in first. Okay, so if you're still hanging in there with me, we're gonna just take a quick, quick minute and talk about the Charleston market. Two things, one, where are we now? And how does Charleston compare to the national market? So as of June, 2023, 2,387 homes for sale. That gives us 1.6 months of inventory. Remember we talked about six months being a neutral market? Wow, we are in a very strong seller's market. Now, if we look at just luxury, which is over a million, it's a little bit higher, 3.7 months of inventory, but still well below that six month neutral market. 22 days average on market. We have a median single family home price of $606,628. And if it's an attached home, which is a condo or a townhouse, the median price is 395,000. Who would have thought we have come a long way in price appreciation from 2020. All right, so what about the number of homes sold and the pricing? So here in Charleston, the number of homes sold in the last 12 months, rolling 12 months, is down 24%. But if you just look at the homes that are priced over 350,000, we're down between 11 and 15%. Why? Because there really aren't any homes under 350,000. So you could say that the Charleston market, number of homes sold were down between 11 and 15%. Let's look at pricing. Believe it or not, the same rolling 12 months, we are up in Charleston on average 10.2% in pricing. That is phenomenal. Why? Because the national average is only single digits. Charleston is outpacing the market with price appreciation once again. So for funsies, really quick, I thought I would give you the top three areas that are going up in price the most and the top three areas that are going down in price the most here in Charleston MLS group. So down in price, Bali Beach, Wadmala and Seabrook. Up in price, Sullivan's Island, Wando Canehoy, thanks to Point Hope. And that's a huge development and rural West Ashley. All right, so you're exhausted from statistics and you're now asking me, Robin, why do I care about all this? Why is this even important to me? And I'll say one thing. If you are looking to purchase a home in the next 15 months, now is the golden opportunity, right? Buyer demand is lower now than it is going to be in the next 15 months. We have millennials coming into the market. We have interest rates dropping. When the interest rates drop, the people who have been waiting who couldn't afford a home are gonna come into the market. We're gonna have the sellers who are at a 3% interest rate and they said, I don't wanna move now and buy at 7% interest. Now they're gonna be piling into the market. So if you wanna buy now, call me. Let's talk about your individual situation. Let's see if this right time is the right time. But I'm telling you, golden opportunity. Until next time, whew, I'm tired. Talk to y'all soon.